So here I have my server running on Oracle Linux 7. It's quite old release. It's an Oracle Linux 7.2, and even the kernel is um, uh, an unbreakable enterprise kernel release 4, and the, even this one is at least two years old. Now let's start to see what we can do with case splice. Uh, yeah, first of all, uh, one very interesting common is case splice list all list targets. Uh, this command uh, will show us um, all the possible updates related to the user space that can be installed by case splice. So without any kind of outage, without taking down our processes, services, applications, databases. As you can see, we have a list of packages here uh, um, showing me uh, the, the release that I've installed, but that um, um, is going to be updated by case splice without any kind of outage. Uh, so we have a huge list of processes that are actually leveraging, for example, uh, glibc as well as OpenSSL on, on this Oracle Linux 7 system. And at the same time, I can also see the kernel that can be uh, managed or can be secured by case splice. Uh, another, another comment uh, that obviously is maybe one of the most important is case splice all upgrade. This kind of command is going to verify and suggest me all the possible updates uh, that are there and can be installed by case splice, so again, without any kind of outage, on both the user space components. As you can see here, we have patches dedicated to uh, glibc as well as OpenSSL, and I can install them. Those patches are going to replace in memory both glibc as well as OpenSSL. And all the existing processes that we, uh, see, we, we saw before are not going to be affected by this installation of patches. So uh, those releases are going to be pushed on memory. And so I do not need to restart any process, any service. Now, the update of user space components like glibc and OpenSSL is now completed. But that's not all. Now, case splice is also going to verify the possible updates that are available for the kernel. And as you can see, here we have four different patches, four different security fixes, with, uh, where it, for each of them we have also a CD associated that can be installed on my kernel. The process is quite fast. Everything is, can be even automated. Uh, now, uh, case splice is installing those security fixes for the kernel in memory. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> the first four, maybe the first four fixes that uh, I have installed on, on, on my kernel introduced another huge list of security fixes that are available for this kernel. And even all of them can be again installed without any kind of outage for my system. As you can see, even the installation is quite fast. Consider that here we are running a kernel that is at least two years old. And so there's a huge list of security fixes available for my kernel. So I'm taking my kernel two years ahead. And so I'm going to install a huge list of security fixes. And, and all of them can be installed in, in some seconds or maybe a minute, not more. At the end of the process, I can see also the updated kernel release that is now running on my system. So if I execute your name, your name I can see the kernel release installed on the file system, installed on, the, on my Linux operating system, by executing uptrack uname, I can see the kernel release running in memory in terms of security fixes. And this one is actually the latest available for Oracle Linux 7. Now, if I want to see the list of security fixes installed by, by case splice, another common that is quite interesting is case splice all show. This kind of command is going to show me uh, very important information. So first of all, uh, for each process that is affected 
by a security fix installed by KSplice and the security user space fix installed by KSplice, I can see the CVE that KSplice fixed for, for this process. As you can see, we have our, our syslogd, we have other processes like TuneD, where we have uh, we had uh, security fixes installed by KSplice. The same kind of thing is there for Bash, for example, and even SSH. We have a couple of security fixes that have been enabled by the security fixes installed by KSplice. That said, I can also see all the KSplice kernel updates that had been installed on the system that at the end took me to have an effective kernel release that is equal to the latest one actually available for Oracle Linux 7. That said, last but not least, I also have the option to possibly roll back those security fixes. And there's no limitation while trying to roll back a security fix installed by KSplice. By executing, for example, the command KSplice, hold, remove, dash dash all, I can proceed to roll back the security fixes that, for example, I'm installed on user space components. And I can also decide to possibly roll back all the security fixes that are there or that have been installed for the kernel. I can also decide that to roll back a specific security fix. So I'm not um, obviously I uh, I do not have to roll back all of them. I can decide also to roll back only one of them, if maybe this one is going to create any kind of issue on my system. And as you can see now, the effect effective kernel version running on my system is what I have installed on the file system. Uh, now, I can even check again the status of patches that have been installed on, on my system by KSplice, and as you can see, both for the user space components as well as the kernel, no patches are installed. So all of them have been rolled back. Obviously, it's not suggested to roll back patches just because all of them are security fixes that you can get for free, and for free, I mean, without any kind of outage, without rebooting your application, your database, or your system. I would like to thank you for the time dedicated uh, to this very quick overview of KSplice cap capabilities. On this slide, uh, you can find all our uh, different social accounts where you can reach out to us for any kind of question related to Linux and utilization at Oracle. Uh, that said, uh, again, thank you so much. Have a nice day. See you soon.